The calendar may say that today is baseball's opening day, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the weather must automatically cooperate. Unlike the southeast or west coast, where baseball is played every day, northeast teams have a very limited window to play ball each spring. But that hasn't stopped the Cathedral Prep Crusaders from preparing for this season, even if that means practicing indoors. Well, one of the things here is hard is that the weather in March is still cold. You know, in some places like in the south in Florida, it's a lot warmer, so our guys can get out a little earlier. While up here, we're still battling the snow. We might have some rain. So the fields sometimes are not even playable because of the rain and even because of the snow. Even if it has melted for a couple of days, the ground is still soft and unplayable. And playing Northeastern baseball is much harder because we have less time to play in the winter. Lately, it's been getting better. It's been getting warmer out, so we're at a less disadvantage now. We've already had uh, four non-league games canceled already. It's been tough to play and get in practice too. Uh, we've had like we tried to get outside a couple times a week, but with the cold weather, it's hard to stay out there and stay focused. Um, but other than that, we've been trying to deal with it inside and do a lot of running. The uh, guys down south, they get to play outside a lot more, which is uh, obviously better. But if you know what you're doing, it's not too much of a disadvantage because when you're inside, you can make up for it by doing soft toss, which isn't the real thing. It's not like live batting practice. But if you want that, you can always just go to the batting cages. Baseball is a sport that requires constant practice. So despite the bad weather, the Crusaders have made the most of their indoor practice time. If we didn't have the gym, we wouldn't be able to play all the time because the fields are just disgusting at this time of year. So when we have the gym, we're able to not do exactly what we could do on the fields, but we could reenact everything that we're going to have to do when we get outside. And we get our footwork down and we get our hitting skills down. This way when we can get outside, we have less to work on. Some of the drills we do is a lot of ground balls because we have uh, um, special balls for ground balls that they bounce wobbly so you get prepared for those uh, kind of uh, ground balls. And we do a lot of pop flies, mostly hidden with the softballs we have in here. And you get a lot of done in here, more than you would think you would do. It's important that we make good use of this time because our other opponents, uh, we can't see what they're doing. And so we got to make sure we're working as hard as we can 24-7 to be better than our other teams. And uh, that if it means we have to work hard inside, we have to work hard inside now. With the bulk of its league schedule fast approaching, Cathedral Prep must ensure that it's ready to play regardless of the climate. All the other teams are dealing with our same struggles, you know, not being able to go outside, not being able to play because of the weather, whether it be too cold or the field be too wet. But it is important that we get as much work as possible so that mentally we are ready. So it's a lot easier when you go through the repetition, repetition, repetition of doing the same thing over and over again, whether it's a ground ball, whether it's seeing a pitch, whether it's swinging a bat. It is a repetition motion that we got to take care of. And whether it's done inside or outside, it's all about the preparation. As the old saying goes, April showers bring May flowers. But forget about the flowers. Hopefully, the April showers will bring some great baseball weather for the Crusaders. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.